Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jason Dennis. And I'm Barbara Goche. Well, the Crimson Tide hit Columbus this afternoon when the University of Alabama's head football coach, Nick Saban, toured the National Infantry Museum. News to the Mackenzie Zaragoza was there when the national champion coach said thank you to the troops and brings us more details now from today's event. That's how hundreds of Fort Benning soldiers greeted Alabama head football coach Nick Saban Thursday afternoon. I thought it was tremendously glorious for him to take time out of his day just to come and talk to a bunch of privates, but it was pretty cool. I respect the man a lot. Soldiers from Fox Trot Company 219 and the Wounded Warriors Transition Battalion shook hands with Saban as he made his way into the National Infantry Museum. After a few autographs and a quick tour inside, the coach praised the discipline, teamwork, and leadership it takes to serve our country. I can't tell you how much so many people, and you don't get to hear this very often, appreciate what you do. Later, Coach Saban told News Leader 9 how thankful he is for every soldier. What they do to preserve, preserve you know, our freedom, uh, our, our safety as a nation, and the sacrifice that they make. I mean, it's tough now to get people just to serve someone else let alone sacrifice to serve your country. No matter what team they root for, these soldiers said it was an honor for one of the most popular coaches in the nation to thank them. It opens your eyes to actually see someone that is famous, to actually get all the attention all the time from winning like, championships and everything, to bring us, I guess, in the spotlight. One thing the troops and the coach agreed on, success on the battlefield or the football field only comes after hard work. If you look around the Army, you'll see discipline and teamwork and, and togetherness. And when you have that, you have a winning combination, just like University of Alabama, roll top. Even though most of the soldiers we talk to today are diehard Alabama fans, some may have a newfound respect for the Crimson Tide after meeting Nick Saban. In Columbus, Mackenzie Zaragoza, WTVM, Newsleader 9.